welcome to another Pier 1 Yacht Sales Boat Tour video. I'm your host Clint Johnson. What we have for you guys today is a 2002 Sea Ray Amberjack 290. This boat, she is stored on a lift and it is covered as well. You'll notice later that her bimini top, the canvas there, is in really, really, really good condition. Bottom paint isn't brand new, but definitely still decent and effective. The owner was telling me that that is a new windlass, and that it works well. And the name of this boat is Salty Cocktail in Cape Coral, Florida. She does have inboard outboards. Here's that the paint on them is pretty decent. You can see that the zincs, see those zincs right there? Pretty good condition. Like I said, she is kept out of the water. Nice swim platform on the back. Let's hop on board and take a look. So first thing you'll notice, there's seating here on the back bench for about three people. There's an additional seat here for another person. Another one here. And captain's chair, which is bolstered, really nice. Another two people for a total of seven. Behind the back bench seat, we do have additional storage it does have a drain that leads out. Additionally, we do have some more storage here, or maybe you could fit a trash can into there. And we additionally have a sink right there behind the captain. Moving forward, we have the helm station. So I was talking with the owner of this boat and the GPS, as you can tell, it, it does work. You do have a little haziness around the screen, but is definitely readable, definitely functions. The radio, it turns on, but currently the antenna needs to be replaced up top, so it doesn't function, but it does turn on. Once that was replaced, that should work. Uh, he did want me to point out that this little Raytheon GPS unit there, that little one, that does not work. and. This Raymarine depth finder, it does work. The only reason I turned it off is because we have a low tide today and it just kept alarming over and over and it was really annoying. But, so we turned it off. Bolstered seats. Appears that most of our gauges, fairly decent shape. The owner reports to me there's about 15 hours on these engines. As far as the engine bay goes, and the generator on this boat, it is down below here. You have an access port here, so you can see the top of the generator, but you can get to a lot, almost all the generator through this big hatch here. We're going to open it up, and from there, I'm going to show you the engine bay, and then we're going to start up the engines for you so you can see them run. All right, we're going to hop in down into this engine room and we're actually gonna fire up these motors and let you watch them start and run. We'll take them up in some RPMs, you know, just show that there's, you know, belts aren't flying, smoke's not blowing out everywhere or anything like that. They run well. I've already seen them, but I'm gonna show you. Let's get down here and take a look. Here we have our starboard motor. Got our battery bank here. Just forward of the battery bank, we have a hot water heater. Uh, the owner of this boat says that's a fairly new hot water heater. If we turn around forward here, we have our Westerbeek generator. Showing about, at least on uh, the hour meter, 56.4 hours. And we got some tanks and then we got over here and we got our port motor. 
Rear Cruiser 5.0s. All right, let's watch these things run. So now that we've seen the engines run, I do want to get you up on the bow. And so I'm going to hop on up here and I'm going to take you around to the bow and then we'll come back down below and inside the boat in the salon and the V-berth and all of that. So I am going to hop up here and then go up to the bow. We're going to go check that out. First of all, I want to take a look at the top here on the Bimini top, uh, these fishing rod holders, this whole thing right here. As far as the radio goes, currently it turns on, but this antenna is broken currently, and so um, that makes it so that the radio doesn't currently function, even though it does turn on. If that was to be fixed, then simple fix, then you have the radio back up. This canvas on top of this bimini top is it's really nice. Um, really, really, really nice condition. This boat's being kept on a covered lift. All right, we're up on the bow. There's a decent amount of area here that you can actually lay out. A couple people could lay on either side of the hatch um, for a 29 foot boat. Uh, the bow area is pretty nice and, and roomy. We do have an electric windlass. Uh, the owner had said that it is fairly new and works well. Uh, you get your foot pedals there. So for operation up here at the bow. And here is the view from the bow and then heading aft. Let's get back down in the boat and take a look. And finally, the moment probably many of you have been waiting for is to get down into the salon area, the inside living area of this vessel. Really, really big, comfortable V-berth. Place to seat, really in my opinion, for two but nice and comfortable. Let's get down and take a look. So here we have a place to sit and dine or whatever else you wanted to do. Maybe play, play some cards. I do want to point out this boat does have air conditioning and it's not on right now because we're actually uh, lifted too high out to run that. We'd have to lower the boat all the way down the water. And like I said earlier, we have a low, really, really low tide today in Cape Coral. Here on the starboard side, additionally, you could probably hear the music if we stop for a second. I don't want to let that go where YouTube's algorithm will pick that up and flag me as copyright, so I'm just going to pretty much talk or maybe turn that down. CD player there as well. Here's your electrical panels. AC vent. Really large V-berth and a little bit of storage below. We opened it earlier when I was with the owner and he stowed a couple things away. It's not super deep under there, but as far as this V-berth, look at that, and it's 
bolstered. I mean, you could be in there taking a nap or something and the captain makes a hard turn and rolls you and you're just gonna hit that really nice soft padding. That, that, that's really nice, but I don't know if it shows up on the video, but it's almost like three people could lie side by side. It's super wide. But here we have the galley. She comes with a microwave. Nice little microwave. Nice and clean. Single burner electric. Nice, nice and clean. And small refrigerator with an ice box in there. Once again, nice and clean. Now looking aft from the V-Berth, now this is a 29 foot boat. You gotta remember that. So it's not a massive boat, but there are a lot of places to sit, a lot of places to sleep. I mean, this right here is gonna make down, you can see the little ledges, that's gonna make down into an additional bed. So at least two people up in the V-Berth, another person here, that's three, and at least one more person back here. Maybe you could scrunch two kids in. They have the cushions. They're using this for storage, for life vests, eyes and glass, other things like that. But for a 29-foot boat, pretty decent amount of room, pretty beamy. And finally, what we have is the head. And you know what? You can see the shine off this. Nice, clean, functional head. Everything that you're going to need. Shower's actually going to come off your sink. You're just going to pull that out, use it. A little holder up there if you just want to place it up there, take a shower. But completely functional, good amount of room for a 29 foot boat. Once again, nice and clean. Well, thank you for joining me on another Pier 1 Yacht Sales boat tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more boats, more boat videos as they become available from Pier 1 Yacht Sales, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.